Foundation is raising money to replace Robb Elementary. Joining me to talk about that is Amanda Hughes Pickering, a board member for the Uvalde CISD Moving Forward Foundation. And uh, as we were just discussing, you are a graduate from Uvalde High School. You went to Robb Elementary yourself, right? Yes. So tell us more about the, the this foundation. What, what's the foundation doing? Sure, so the Uvalde CISD Moving Forward Foundation's sole work is to build a new elementary school in Uvalde. Uh, the foundation was seeded by an amazing lead $10 million gift from the Charles Butt Foundation, the Butt family, and HEB, which mm -hmm. obviously does so much amazing work of across course. the state. Yeah, yeah, I was actually, I remember we reported on that, and we, it was actually really nice to see that happening because we know that Rob Elementary never opened to back up again so what's the um, what's the plan for the new elementary school like do we have a date when it could open so uh, 2025 is the date we're targeting um, the school we have a groundbreaking set actually for this fall um, the the school design I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that but yeah, tell um, me about it. so Huckabee Architects began working with a um, community advisory committee in Uvalde which was appointed by the school district and made up of uh, UCISD teachers, staff, and valued community members, and they really worked in, in earnest for about seven months with the design team to design the school. So it's a very community-led uh, community project, locally designed, and um, those design plans were approved in April. and set for our groundbreaking this fall. So that's what we're looking at here. Are these the design plans that you're talking about? Absolutely. Wow, okay, so how close are you to raising the money towards your goal and, and how much have you raised so far to start the process? Uh, so that's always the hardest part, I know, right? right? Um, <laughs> Not to put you on the spot, but on television, could you let everyone know? Um, really, it's been amazing and sort of inspiring to see um, how quickly this has come together. So it's a $60 million project. We're 80% of the way towards the goal, okay. uh, of course, due in large part to um, HEB and the Charles Butt Foundation and mm -hmm. that amazing gift. But we've been working with uh, philanthropic communities across the state, Dallas, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Austin, and have received support from hundreds of individuals and foundations and corporations. Now we're working in Houston and um, we're, we're really hopeful that, that Texans across the state will invest in this project. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I know this is personal to you and a lot of people feel like this is personal to them. It's really tugged at our hearts for the for more than a year now. So what could people who are at home listening to this, what could they do to help? How can they help you? So you can go to the website, uh, UvaldeCISDMovingForward.org, learn more about the project, um, learn how you can support it. We also have a, a crowdsource funding campaign ongoing um, on all social media channels. And so um, please get on, follow us uh, and, and support the effort. We, we could really use the help and the community, community could really use the help. And I, I think this is such a special opportunity to have a project that's um, built locally but supported by Texans across the state um, and Texans doing what we do best and helping others. What are those social media platforms so people know where to find you? Oh yeah, of course, Instagram, Facebook, um, And Twitter. what's the what's the foundation's name again? Uh, Uvalde CISD Moving Forward Foundation. Okay, and tell us about the event that is happening next week that could possibly help you meet your goal. Oh yeah, of course. So Houston, obviously the energy city, um, and that's an industry that's supported so many community projects like this one. Uh, so we'll be gathering uh, energy leaders, uh, Houston-based energy companies to learn more about the project and hopefully step up and support us. And we've already got some, some early support uh, from Murphy Oil Corporation and Baytex Energy. Uh, I love seeing these Texas foundations or organizations stepping up to help foundations like yours. Um, I know Uvalde really needs it. They're still hurting so badly from this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, anything that we can do to support the community is, is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for the opportunity to, to talk about this. Yeah, thank you. Amanda Hughes Pickering, thank you so much for joining us. And we will put a link to how you can donate to the Uvalde Foundation on our website. Just go to click2houston.com. Thank you, Amanda.